1995. Hey, Brandonovich, what's up? Uh, well, say, say I am. Little S, big A, little M. I've been learning a lot about helium balloons lately. That's cool. And that's probably why we have helium balloons here with us today. That's why we have helium balloons with us. And I found out why when we inhale helium, our voice changes. It's because of the little people, right? Little people? Yeah, the, like the little people that make up helium. They get stuck in your throat, so they make your voice all like, hi, and weird. Well, before we talk about why I found out that helium works, um, I want to take a look at what some people on the street said. But before we clip to that, let's see. Just a sample of what it does to oh. my voice. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's see what those people have to say. It is pushing away all the oxygen inside your lungs, and it is changing the reverberation in your throat um, because it's a different density than oxygen. So since it's different density, the reverberation is different, which causes a different vocal tone. It's a lighter air, so it goes in your vocal cords and makes it lighter. When helium passes through your vocal cords, it vibrates at a different frequency than normal air does, like the oxygen and nitrogen mix of, of average air. So Sam, now those people have the ideas that lots of people have about what um, uh, causes healing to change your voice. Not one of them thought it was the little people, so they're clearly all wrong. Yeah, I hadn't heard about the little people. It's and I imagine a lot of them haven't heard about the little people either. Probably not. So what I found out is that helium it causes our voice to change mm -hmm. because the speed of sound is actually faster in helium than it is in the air that we normally breathe. Weird. So as an example of that, I am going to inhale some more helium, I'm going to recite a poem, and then when it's done, I'm going to slow it down, and it should be slowed down to pretty much my normal voice. That sounds really trippy. And this also sounds like a really bad idea. I think that's enough. No voice divine, the story of Malade, my life no light perspicious is shown. When snatched from all effect delayed, we perished each alone. And I beneath the deeper sea have drowned in You're the weirdest person I've ever met in my entire life. No voice divine, the story of Malade, my life no light perspicious is shown. When snatched from all effect delayed, we perished each alone. And I beneath the deeper sea have drowned in You're the weirdest person I've ever met in my entire life. I imagine that's what a lot of them think too. Yes. I know for a fact that's what a lot of you people think. Mm -hmm. So I think they've learned a valuable lesson about what helium can do for them. I think so too. Valuable lesson maybe, that's a little up in the air. So cool. I kind of said something like that. That is really cool. I wasn't, I wasn't exactly right with that one then because I said something about air, like frequency of vibrations. I said vibrations. I think you could, I think that could be read as being correct, to be honest. A piece of advice, don't do this at home. Yeah, don't. It, it's not a good idea. He did it a lot as a child, which explains a lot of things. Um, it really is not a good idea. It's totally not a good idea. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, send them our way at scientificstation.com.